promote the India Advantage Summit and it's day one. Talk about sustainability and technology. And uh, I have Mr. Ravi, he's a CTO of global public sector segment, Cisco. And Cisco is seen as a technology-based uh, company and 5G, you just spoke about 5G also. And smart cities, we're involved in smart cities. How does Cisco help in, uh, you know, the smart city mission, in fact, uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, unveiled in a big funfair. How Cisco, what is Cisco's role in uh, smart cities, sir? So we are a technology partner to many of the uh, cities and governments. You know, we, our, our whole value proposition comes from the fact that most of the smart cities require a foundational network and a foundational connectivity to connect all the smart devices to uh, to the uh, to the operation center so cisco plays a critical role in enabling the secure scalable connectivity for all the smart devices in smart cities that's our key role and uh, talk about 5g it's just rolling out a lot of uh, 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 5g is also rolled, rolled out so uh, two things one it one is we talk about the benefits of 5g and second is also the, there are apprehensions about the uh, wellness of humans also, humans and uh, uh, other things. So, uh, can you just explain the benefits first of 5G, then of course the uh, the dangerous part of it. Sure. See, the 5G is the next generation of the network technology, right? So everybody now with the applications becoming more video around, video uh, centric, and 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 you know with now most people now using uh, work from home and and remote working, etc. So there is going to be a lot of online. Uh, video based content that is going to be transported over the internet and 5G brings in the next set of technology capabilities where such high volumes of data and video can be transported for various use cases like remote working, remote health, remote education, uh, as well as delivering use cases for smart city and, and smart utilities type of things using IoT technology. It brings in capabilities to, to deliver the secure scalable data to these use cases that can transform the urban and citizen services. So that's the big advantage of, of uh, 5G. It also enables futuristic use cases like augmented reality, virtual reality type of use cases where you, you can experience some of the, the, the uh, you know, ex experience like tourism, etc. from uh, uh, from a remote uh, uh, location, etc. So those are some of the benefits of 5G. Coming to the coming to the disadvantages, honestly, I personally, pers this is my personal opinion, I don't see any uh, uh, disadvantages in 5G as long as the the networks are are designed and and adhered to the the um, the configurations and the settings that the regulators uh, require the network operators to do. Otherwise, there is really no. Uh, as long as that is met, there are no disadvantages. But obviously, government is going to do its own analysis and research, and and they are going to regulate the the, the industry, right? So, thank you, Mr. Ravi. Thanks for speaking to Smart Sustain, and with Smart Sustain will be uh, covering the uh, India Advantage Summit, uh, and we'll be giving continuous reports on that. And uh, thanks, uh, Mr. Ravi. Thank you for watching.